I can't understand English, but I can't speak fluently. Why? Do you know the reasons? Watch this video till the end because in this video, I want to show you why you can actually understand English but can't speak English fluently. Let's see. But first of all, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification alarm, and like this video. Hello guys, I'm Nina Williams, and today in this video, I'm going to show you why you can actually understand English, the reasons, but actually you can't speak English fluently with different ways. You can actually solve these problems. This video is really useful, I think. Uh, my YouTube channel in my playlist, uh, the playlist of how you can actually how to learn English. There are different videos you can find to how to improve your English, how to uh, actually improve in different skills. And I think it's really powerful, one of the powerful channel, <laughs> to be honest, because I actually try to persist that and actually try to show you different ways uh, for different um, actually people with different personalities, different schedules different jobs what they can do and overall in general even with the minimum uh, free time you can do to improve your English so this video is also one of the useful video because I want to show you different reasons why actually you can understand English uh, but you can't speak English at all and of course with different solutions I can actually explain to you and offer you you can use them to actually solve this problem so watch this video till the end you know, many learners experience the frustration of understanding English well, but struggling to speak fluently is a problem. This is a common issue known as a speaking barriers, and it happens for several reasons. In this video is an explanation of why this happens and uh, a practical action plan to overcome it. The first actually common reason is passive versus active skills. What's this mean? Listening and reading are passive skills, as you may know, because if you actually try to improve your listening and reading, just focus on these two actually skills. Listening and reading are passive skills, meaning you can receive and process information without having to produce language. In contrast, speaking, on the other hand, is an active skill that requires you to create and deliver language in real time. This difference makes speaking much more challenging than just understanding. So that's why when you just focus on uh, actually improve your listening and reading, it, they are passive skills. And that's why when you don't actually practice speaking skills, try to not improve that skill, that's why it's one of the reasons that. Another reason is lack of speaking practice. Many learners spend a lot of time practicing passive skills like watching TV shows, listening to podcasts, or reading, but they don't practice speaking nearly as much. Fluency comes from frequent and consistent practice, not just exposure. So remember that lack of speaking practice is actually the main reason of it. Another reason, which is really common, and even I remember that I have actually I had that experience before, it's a fear of mistakes. Many learners are afraid of making mistakes or being judged, which can lead to hesitation and anxiety while speaking. This fear creates a mental block that prevents fluency. 
Another reason is limited vocabulary for speaking. Remember that uh, till the end of the videos, I will actually show you different solutions you can use to how to overcome your stress, anxiety, your fear of mistakes, and everything you can do to improve to how to you can speak English fluently. So please just uh, try to watch this video till the end. Another reason is a limited vocabulary for speaking. It's really common. I actually made a, a different videos about how you can improve your vocabularies for speaking. Also, you can watch those videos also. While you may know many words, using them correctly and spontaneously in conversation is a different skill. You might find that your vocabulary in listening or reading is modern, but when it comes to speaking, you rely on a smaller set of words which actually is a limitation vocabulary of forest speaking. That's why another reason. Overthinking, which is really common among you, and many people around the world, unfortunately, is another reason. Some learners tend to think too much before speaking, trying to translate from their native language or ensuring the sentence is perfect. This can slow down the speech and make it difficult to speak fluently. I, I actually made different videos about how you can actually stop think in your own language and translate your thoughts in English, how you can actually think in English. So you can watch those videos because those videos are really ho actually helpful and actually I get different positive feedback. So I strongly recommend watch those videos, of course. Another reason is a listening without uh, imitation. Even though you might understand native speakers, you may not be training your speaking muscles. Listening alone doesn't improve pronunciation, rhythm, or intonation. So remember that speaking, actually listening alone doesn't improve your pronunciation, rhythm, or intonation. It's remember that using your speaking muscles is really important. So now they are the common reason you're actually passive learner, passive skills. Now I want to tell you the part two of this video, action plan to speak fluently. Start speaking every day, which is really common. The most effective way to improve fluency is by speaking regularly. Dedicate at least 15 to 30 minutes each day to speaking practice you can. I actually made different videos from different even in 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and even one hour in one month schedule or even weeks by weeks to how you can improve your English. So you can watch those videos, of course. But for example, speak to a language partner or router in person or online through platforms like italki or HelloTag. I introduced different apps, online apps you can use so you can watch those videos, of course, or record yourself. Speaking is another way about a topic, then listen back to ident identify areas of improvement. I strongly recommend this method. Practice thinking in English. You can watch how you can think in English. Those videos are really good. To break the habit of translating from your native language, practice thinking directly in English throughout your day. For example, describe what you see or uh, what you are doing in English. For example, I'm making coffee in English. Or talk to yourself about plans, feelings, or thoughts as if you are narrating your day, for example, in front of the mirror or even journalings or the flashcards or something like that. As I previously talked about in different videos, imitate native speakers is the third actually way. It's one of the best ways to improve fluency and pronunciation is to imitate native speakers. You can, for example, shadow native speakers by listening to short clips and trying to repeat exactly what they say, matching their speed, intonation, and rhythm. It's actually a combination of uh, actually passive and active skills. And another way, use TED Talks, YouTube videos like my videos, or news broadcasts for shadowing practices. 
the fourth way is focus on fluency, not accuracy. Remember that when you practice speaking, try to focus on fluency rather than being perfect. Don't worry about the small mistakes, just keep talking. The goal is to express yourself even if it's not grammatically perfect. It's it's actually it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's actually try to focus on your fluency. All of us actually make mistakes, even English speaking people. Uh, so don't worry about it. Just actually try to give up any stress about it and try try to talk. And try speaking for two or three minutes on a topic without stopping. Even if you make mistakes, this will train your brains to keep going and not freeze. It's actually, it's like uh, speaking muscles, using your speaking muscles. The fifth way is build your uh, speaking vocabulary. To become fluent, you need a set of words that you can easily use in conversation. Practice active recall of vocabularies by, for example, making words list of commonly used words and phrases. I actually have, uh, uh, actually, I have at least two playlists you can use the commonly, the common items, common words you can actually see using those words in your own sentences or conversations. Group vocabulary by items like travel, day routine, work, so that you can easily recall words when speaking on those topics. The next way is join conversations in English. Engage in real conversations with people, either through language exchange programs, conversation groups, or online communities. These environments give you practical experience in thinking quickly and responding in real time. Use apps like your Meetup, Tandem, or language exchange programs to find people to practice with. Practice in discussion in English forums, social media groups, or during online gaming. Another way is speaking about everyday topics. It's really common. I already talked about in my different videos. Practice speaking about common everyday topics to develop fluency with words and phrases you will use often. Focus on subjects like daily routines, travel and directions, for example, on your commute, work and school, your environment, hobbies and interests, food and uh, ordinary at restaurants. The next way is use a language fluency app. Apps like Elsa Speak, especially or Fluent You, can help improve your pronunciation, intonation, and fluency. These apps uh, provide immediate feedback on your speaking, helping you improve quickly. So I strongly recommend using these apps also. And how to overcome the fear of mistakes to speak fluency. You must be comfortable with making mistakes. Fluency improves faster when you stop worrying about being perfect. Remember that. Remind yourself that makes actually makes uh, mistakes are part of learning and celebrate progress and small wins rather than perfection. And we, of course, you should set speaking goals, like set a, spe a specific goals for your speaking practice, like uh, speak for three minutes without stopping about a random topics, or for example, your daily routine, your actually the day you pass, have a conversation with a language partner once a week, for example, or record a video or audio journal to track your progress over time. So the summary of the action plan I want to tell you is speak every day for at least 15 to 30 minutes, think in English to break the habit of translation, imitate a native speaker to improve fluency and pronunciation, prioritize fluency over accuracy by talking without worrying about mistakes. Expand your speaking vocabulary through active recall and real-life topics. Engage in conversation with native or fluent speakers regularly. Focus on everyday topics and become comfortable discussing them. Use fluency apps to get feedback on your speaking. Overcome your fear of mistakes by embarrassing them as learning opportunities. And finally, set specific speaking goals to track your progress and stay motivated. That's it. It's all about the ways you can actually improve your speaking fluency and what's the reason, actually the barriers, 
So thanks for watching again. If you have any question, please write below this video. Don't forget to follow me on social media like Instagram, X or Twitter, and my Telegram channel. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and turn on notification alarm. Stay tuned. Thank you and goodbye.